One more for Garris, the junior from Chicago. It's on the way, and that is good again. And now a timeout here called by Illinois. So Illinois leads in the game by three, 63 to 60, with a minute 46 to go. Duke will have the ball when we come back. This is the Illinois Sports Network. To use your ATM card right there at the pump. And whether you pay with cash, credit, or your ATM cards at mobile, it's always the same price. How can we help you? Mobile treats me right. How can we help you? Mobile treats me right. How can we help you? Mobile. How can we help you? How can we help you? Mobile treats me right. How can we help you? Illini Basketball is brought to you by State Farm Insurance and the more than 1,000 State Farm agents in Illinois. For all your family insurance needs, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Here we go, a minute 46 to go. The Illini up by three, 63 to 60. Duke with the ball, Illinois with the full court pressure. Capable inbound it, hadn't found anybody yet. Now he throws it deep and intercepted again by Garris. Good, well over the head of Newton and the Illini have it. Second consecutive interception by Garris. Take your time, boys. You can run 40 off right here. And it comes to Richard Keene. He holds it high. Gets to Jerry G on the right wing. Back out front now, Hester. Left side, it goes to Notre. 18 seconds to shoot. Now Richard Keene gets the ball to Garris. 125 for the game. 13 on the 25-second clock. Garris with a standing dribble against Collins. Down the lane, backing in. Gets him up there. Shot off the board. Missed it. Newton had the rebound. Knocked away, G picks it up and lays it back in. Jerry G on the rebound. 65 to 60 now with a minute seven to go. And Keene almost stole the pass in the backcourt, but Capel has it. He's down the lane. He lays it. Keene does steal the pass. Keene steals the pass. The Illini have it. 56 seconds to go, leading 65 to 60. Garris Keep it across Garris the line. Man. Collins fouls him out front. Two free throws coming up for Kawan Garris with 50.3 seconds to go. What a three, oh, three steals in a row. Duke hasn't got a shot on their last three possessions. Garrett stole two. Keene came in from behind that time. They just didn't see him, Jim. And Keene stole the pass. And now Garris is the guy you want to the line with 50 seconds to go. He's the guy you're going to have to keep the ball in his hands. He's got to make the free throws. He's your best free throw shooter. Illinois up by five. Garris with 50.3 seconds on the clock. Will shoot two. His first is good. Juan Garris gives Illinois a six-point lead. And boy, is this a big one here. This is a three-position lead here. If he can make this one, Illinois up by six. Garris' free throw is good again. Kiwan hits them both. And timeout has been called by Illinois. Whoa! Illinois 67, Duke 60. 50.3 seconds to go. I'm it's not impossible even... to stop, and yet they're ahead by seven in this game in the final minute. So you got to think at least we got a chance. Illinois playing with no tree, Keen, Garris, Hester, and G. And Illinois will pressure full court. The last time we did that, Capel threw the ball away, extended it for Newton, threw it over his head, and the line I got it. Let's see what happens here. Capel will inbound again. Capel runs the baseline. Gets it in the corner to Price. Back to Capel. Deep pass for Collins. He drives down the lane. Charges into G. That's an offensive foul. No question about it. Chris Collins totally out of control. Ran into G and knocked him down. And it's... Let's see. I think they're going to say the ball was in the air, right? I, it might have been. No, they're going to say no. Uh, yeah, well, hey, Hightower overruled said, No, well, Bo was walking all the way down the other end with the ball. I thought they were going to shoot free throws. I agree with you. 44.3 seconds to go now. Wojciechowski comes back in. Hellman's in for no three because we want Hellman going to the free throw line. If he's fouled, it's either got to be Garris or, or Hellman getting this pass in. Here comes Hester now. He may take it. 67 to 60 is the Illinois lead over Duke with 44.3 seconds to go. Keen waits and waits and waits. Gets it into Hellman. Foul from behind by Collins. 43.4 seconds on the clock. That'll send Matt Hellman to the line to shoot two. Matt Hellman, a six-foot sophomore from Libertyville. That's the fifth foul on Chris Collins. 
So Matt Hillman goes to the line. He'll have two. Illinois up 67 to 60. His first is missed. Well, Lou Henson put him in there to shoot foul shots. He missed the first one. He'll have one more. Matt bounces the ball several times on the way in. Good this time. Hillman hits one of two. The Illinois lead now is 68 to 60. Gotri back in for defensive reasons here. The Illini pressing all over the court as they have been. Here is Capel. Capel inbounds the ball to Price. Almost lost it. Price in the backcourt. Brings it up against Keene. 39 seconds now. Price to the left side. Drives on Keene. Down the lane. Charges into Notre. Lays it up and in. Ricky Price. And Duke wants a timeout. 35.3 seconds to go. Illinois 68. And Duke 62. Let's pause 10 seconds here for station identification. This is the Illini Sports Network. We got to figure out a way to get it to Garris. Yeah, that's the tough thing, though. They're, they're going to try to prevent that. They're probably going to double team. We got Hellman back in the game. And uh, we got Keen, Hester, G, Hellman, and Garris. Keen has thrown it in. That's your best. Now, they almost went deep the last time, but I'm afraid, I think they're afraid that Wojciechowski might outrun Garris, but they may go deep. They've got the deep spot open. There it is. And there it is. Deep pass for Garris. Takes it over his shoulder and goes for the layup and scores. The Illini went deep. The home run pass. 32 seconds to go. Start the clock, will you? 30 seconds to go. Here is Capel fouled by Garris. Stopping that clock with 28 seconds to go. But the Illinois lead is 8, 70 to 62. Well, the guy that started that clock has boxing gloves on. <laughs> Man. Well, well, it does stop after the basket. In the final I understand minutes. that. But uh, they caught it and took a couple of dribbles, and then it started. Illinois up here 70 to 62 with 28.7 seconds to go. Capel will shoot two. Was a long last minute, didn't it? it takes forever. Capel's first is good. He has been a ton. It's 70 to 63. Illinois over Duke. One more for Jeff Capel. And he bangs that one off the rim and Keene has the rebound. And Keene's in the backcourt and fouled. 25.9 seconds now. And Keene will shoot two. Illini up by seven. We walk down to the other end. Capel that time tried to get that ball back. Just, do you think that's what he was trying to do? I mean, he fired it right at the rim. I don't know. I, I didn't realize what. Either that or it was the flattest free throw I've ever seen. He just kind of banged it up there, and Keene got the rebound. And Richard Keene goes to the line to shoot two. Keene with 13 points in the game. Takes a long look. His first free throw is too hard. Man, this is like going to the dentist. One more for Richard Keene. On the way, and this one is good. So Keene hits one of two. The Illinois lead is 71 to 63. 23 seconds to go. Wojciechowski with a long jump shot. It's no good. They storm the board, and G has it. Off to Kiwan Garris. 16 seconds to go. He's fouled in the backcourt. And Garris goes to the line with 15.5 seconds on the clock. Well, the Illini are within 15 seconds of doing something that Indiana couldn't do, that Iowa couldn't do. And they played them on a neutral court. That's right. It, I, this has got to be a shock to everybody here. And a shock the way Illinois has hammered them on the boards and how weak Duke is in the front line. I think this team is going to have trouble all season because I think what they're doing, everybody will start... Preparing for a game. Here is Garris. He makes the first. That makes it an Illinois 72 to 63 lead with 15.5 seconds to go. One more for Kawan Garris, the junior from Chicago Westinghouse, and that's good. Garris hits two. 